hello today I'm here with a new video and today I am doing my second collab on my English channel and today I'm doing a collab with Danielle Schmidt I hope I pronounced that right and we are doing a collab that she started this herself and it's the face off so we have the same palette and the same shades and we are going to do each of us going to do one look I'm going to do my look with the shadows and she's going to do hers and I think this is such a fun idea it's really fun to see how people think differently about the same shadows and if you have not checked Danielle's channel out you have to she seems like a really really nice girl she loves colors and she she's really good so you should totally check her out i will of course leave her channel up here and also down in the description box and i will also leave her video so the palette we are going to do this face off with is blush tribes the fall fusion palette and the colors we got is october this one angelica aspen Pumpkin and Sakina and I think I know what I want to do first I thought like I was going to do something um, that was not expected for me and um, because you know which colors I like but then I changed my mind and I'm just like I'm going to do exactly <laughs> what I want to do so we will just get started and so, in my crease I'm going to do two colors and I'm going to take, have I made up my mind, yes I have, I'm going to take October and also pumpkin, so I'm going to take October on my outer corner and pumpkin on my inner corner in the crease. Is it even called inner corner, outer corner with a crease? I don't know. So we start with October and October is absolutely one of my favorite shades in this palette as well as Pumpkin and Aspen so these colors so suits me so good. So I can talk a little bit about how I find found Danielle. Uh, I think I have seen some of her videos before I start subscribing to her and you know when you get this recommended things, I think she's been there and also when I did my collab with Annette Danielle was one of those who came from Annette channels and she started commenting and then I started to watch her videos and I subscribed like immediately and that's how I found her and I am really glad that I did because I think she's so great and she is also doing a low buy same as me she has already started um, a little and I think she will start for real January 1st and I hope that we can support each other me and Danielle and also if you thinking about a low buy go and check her out and support her so this is October and now I'm going to take I never know how to do this I'm going to take pumpkin and put it on my inner thing do you see this amazing color I really 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 love this and Danielle she's doing a low bias for the same reasons as myself she wants to save money and I think that's a good reason to start a low buy. She and her husband wants to buy a house and me and my boyfriend we also want to buy a house. So I think that is a good thing. So if you are on a low buy I really think you should watch her video she made for a low buy and also support her and support me and support everybody that's are on a low buy because I think we can all need that 
Okay, so I think I'm happy like this. Okay, so now I will take October and put it where I have put October. On my lid. And can you see this color? I did not think that this was going to be one of my favorite color in this palette, but it really is. And I don't really know what it is for kind of color. It feels both like a dark pink, but also a red, but a little purple. I don't know. I really, really love it. And this is so soft and you almost... It fixes it itself. Oh. Yeah, good working. I had shadow on my finger. And I have stopped doing my base first because I have noticed that I'm, I am pretty messy when I'm doing my eyes and uh, I don't want to mess up my base. So this is, yeah. So now I'm going to Aspen and I'm going to take it where I have the pumpkin shade. And now I think you are thinking, how is she going to solve this? She has two colors left, but you can just wait. I will fix this. I actually have a plan. Okay, so I am finished with the lids. So I am going to take this off and I'm going to fix my base. And then I will be back and then we will use... The two colors I have left, which is the Sakina and Angelica. So I will see you soon. So the base is on and now we have two colors left for this face off. It's the Angelica shade here and the Sakina shade here. So I am going to take Angelica underneath my eyes and then Sakina on my inner corner. I hope this will work. So I take a fluffy brush for Angelica and I think that, okay that is too much. I think that this Angelica is a little bit dry. If you compare it to the October that is a very creamy shade. So I really hope that this will work. Okay I think I will take the Sakina. Like in my inner corner and also closest to the eyes, I think the Angelica is good out here. Just to blend it in a little bit with I poke my eye with October. Okay. So I did something. I don't know why I'm telling this in this video, but. I had an eyelash on my lower lash line, on my left eye, that was poking my eyeball the whole time. It like twisted itself and then poked my eye and it hurted like hell and I was so freaking annoyed by that. Like I didn't have to like rub my eyes or something. It could be at work and then my eyes started to hurt and then I go to the bathroom and see that my eyelash head twisted it in, was twisted into my eye. So I took a tweezer and I pulled that motherfucker out and that hurted like hell. I can pluck my eyebrows, I doesn't... I don't feel... I don't think it hurts, but to take out an eyelash that hurted like hell. Okay, so the Angelica is here and then we're going to take the Sakina one with this little pointer brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. And I hope this is so creamy. This shade is so nice. I really hope it will show in here.
And I poke my eye again. It's going to be so fun to see Danielle's look and to see how that turned out. Maybe we'll look exactly the same or maybe we'll look super different. I was first thinking to do have this Sakina shade on my inner like a cut crease or something but then I thought like I have done a couple of dark looks this last couple of weeks even off cam so I didn't feel like it so I think this turns out pretty good so now I'm just going to put on some mascara and some lipstick so this is the finished look with the, the full fusion palette and this face off with Danielle and this was so fun I don't know if I have used all this color by myself I usually don't use five colors in one look but this was such a fun collab and such a fun challenge for me and you must check out Danielle's channel and also her video that she has done in this collab and I will leave those down below. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!